You know, the thing about winter is that you know that spring will finally someday, hopefully soon, be here. And when I think spring, I think of baseball. And I love the great game of Major League Baseball, and I've been a Pirate fan since, well, playing baseball on a sandlot somewhere here in Beaver County with my buddies on a hot summer day trying to imitate our Pirate favorites, that windmill batting stance of twirling that bat, waiting the pitch, and hopefully for Willie Stargell to do what we loved him for, hitting the home run, right, over the ivy at uh, that place that was Forbes Field. Pretty magical stuff. And for some reason, I've always been a fan of the New York Yankees. Mickey Mantle happens to be one of the reasons. And my friendship with Dr. Patrick DeMeo, who is the chief of orthopedics of the Allegheny Health Network, who grew up watching the Yankees as a kid. He was raised in the Queens portion of New York. And George Steinbrenner. I just have always admired his legacy and what he was, and I truly believe he was one of the best things that ever happened to the great game of baseball, and obviously for the people in pinstripes. So when I got this story yesterday at KDK Radio, I wanted to make sure that I did something early today. How about Mariano Rivera? Roy Halladay, Edgar Martinez, Mike Messina elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame. Rivera, baseball's all-time saves leader, loved watching him work. He became the first player in history to be voted unanimously. He received 100% of the votes and broke Ken Griffey Jr.'s record of 99.32%. Halliday, who died sad in that plane crash in November 2017, received 85.4% in his first year on the ballot. Martinez finally got over the hump in his 10th and final year of eligibility, winning 85.4%. Of the vote, he had nearly missed out in 2018, receiving 70.4% of the vote. So, congratulations to Mariano Rivera, Roy Halliday, along with Edgar Martinez and Mike Mussina, headed to Cooperstown and the incredible, historic Major League Baseball Hall of Fame.